Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, Lucia here. Today we are watching uh, Queen Charlotte A Bridge and Story Episode 4. This one's called Holding the King. <sighs> Last episode was so much of a doozy, y'all. I, I took a little break. I have been... 30, 45 minutes since I last saw episode three. I cried twice in that episode. The first one time was at the dance ball because hindsight is so much more powerful. And, you know, on the last time, of course, the, the, sorry, the last time, the, the second time that I cried was, you know, at the end. It just made me really sad. I know our memory and our minds are so important. Sometimes we don't. I say you could say appreciate it as much as you do, and and then they're as much as we all do. It's so sad. Uh, other things happened, <laughs> like uh, Lady Danbury current current time. Lady Danbury and Violet were saw each other at the church, and uh, Lady Danbury was like, "You're fortunate." I honestly, I I figured it as you know, you had love in your marriage, and um, you know, while obviously Lady Danbury didn't, but again, hindsight. And uh, Lady Violet took offense to that. But we also saw a young Lady Violet also in this episode. And she reminds me so much of Francesca. Sorry, not Francesca. Hyacinth, as well as Eloise. So, yeah. We also met her parents. Her mom's just um, a racist. <laughs> and her dad, he seemed pretty chill, but also, like, he's married to her. He also told Lady Danbury, oh, I want us to be friends. So I was like, interesting. Uh, we also learned about the, the hat situation. I personally thought that, you know, even though he's not there anymore, Edmund, you know, Violet's husband, she should still make him hats. You know? But they met up. You know, she's like, I, I make the, the school, the girls, the orphanages, and the girls, uh, uh, teachings or you know schoolings in spite of his memory and you honor him to visiting the church you know Edmund for him so that's good but you know we also saw, saw her husband die when he was mid-stroke and then she and her lady's maid was like uh what's her name Coral I I don't remember seeing her in her present time so or maybe I just didn't pay attention which you know if so might be um, but yeah, we, you know, Lady Danbury had the first ball of the season, which is now a customary ball in current time. So that's pretty cool. We get to see all these, um, traditions start to get in place. So pretty cool. Um, but more importantly, the ending of the episode, you know, obviously, oh, wait, there was also the talk with, um, current Brimsley and the Queen about... You know, he's still your queen, forever trapped in time. And the reason why your daughters never married is because they wanted you to not be alone. And I'm like, mm. And he's like, it maybe would have been better if he would have died. But instead, he's trapped. But also, um, young Charlotte saw George, his, you know, fixated on Venus and the stars. And she it was like, I'm Venus. I need you to come inside. And it was just so sad, guys. It was so sad. But yeah. Remember, everyone, if you're watching this episode on YouTube, well, we're done on Patreon. But you know what's all on Patreon that's not on YouTube? The uncut of this episode. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nothing else to say, really, other than let's start right now. What is this? She's what like, really? Happening? What has happened to my husband? There's a strong will. Well, someone say something, Jesus Christ. My... I believe she's found you a bride. Okay, flashback. Tell me, what would the people prefer? A royal baby or cheap bread? Right now, they have neither. Well, when you put it that way, Mom. The betrothal contracts are signed. It is done. Impossible. She will, she will lose the moon. Lose the moon, your majesty? Uh, storms over the North Sea this season. Master, mm. you will captain all your sextant. No sky, no moon. Oh, no. No, no lunars, no lunars, no longer. Yes. Mm. <laughs> well, like, what is it? Mm. <laughs> I'm 
so happy that she got to see her son the happy though at the ball. Assistant with an inflamed cerebellum. Dr. John Munro of the Bethlehem Hospital. Munro. The madhouse. Your Highness, this quack has no place among proper doctors. The proper doctors have failed me. Really? So I have had to cast a wider net. Well, ever? You are the King of England. You have thousands prepared to die at a word from you. You have armies, navies at your command. You command Talk about Venus, I don't know. Kingdom. You bring him back to himself. You can command Is it really that easy? Too. Don't let it beat you. You're to marry in a week. He's like fit to marry George. He's like period. Do I look perfectly right to you? No. You just need someone to grasp it. You are perfectly right. There's nothing wrong with him. Oh fuck! Wait, no. Here's Jesus. Right. Wake up! That startled me. <laughs> he was watching for a while, huh? <clears throat> Hello, my lady. Are you in need of assistance kind of. of some kind? Oh, he smiled as soon as he saw her. Show. Does your majesty not find So does insight? he do this? Because that's the only way for his mind to like focus. So beautiful. Perhaps is she dull? She is terrifyingly Aww. clever. That is the problem. If she were ugly, if she were dull, I might feel myself up to the task. Instead, her she'll return to my mm. planets, <laughs> my stars. They at least I can be sure not to harm. Good night, Reynolds. I knew it was like this. He doesn't want to hurt her. The queen is not allowed to go to the modiste or the galleries or the ice shops. I cannot make he friends. Can I either. must hold myself apart. Because of his mind. I do not know a single soul here except for you. That... I'm completely alone. And, and sometimes he doesn't even know himself. Tonight. Surely there must be something that you can do. Something to end the fits. Forever. I have been experimenting mm -hmm. with something more proactive. Oh. Please. I want to be well. I would require oh, no. rooms in the palace. Simple way. Did, did this actually work? Oatmeal. I don't see how this works. I'm no doctor. Above all, you have Quack never not. learned to submit. Yes. Are you doing a shock therapy? This therapy is the cure. Submission. If you cannot govern yourself, you're not fit to govern others. Until then. Oh, that's where I you got the dog from. Do you understand me, boy? Don't give a damn who your father was, how many titles you have, or whether you are God's own representative on earth. In here, you are just another animal in a cage. He's not. Just like an animal, I will break you! Jesus Christ. This seems kind of sketch. No. Mm. Oh. Questioning the doctor's methods, Reynolds. Yes. Yes, I am. I have my own doubts about them, but I have to try. It's the only chance I have of being with her. <laughs> Woman like that is too dangerous for a man like me. Or maybe a perfect match. <laughs> that makes me sad. You think? I think we cannot know until His Majesty spends more time with her. Let's go, Reynolds. I believe she is lonely, Your Majesty. <laughs> lonely. I agree. Imagine that. I've spent my whole life longing for time to myself. 
fitting present, no? From my cage to hers. I want the queen to know we will not be caged forever. <laughs> oh, but your mind is caged. Your Majesty, news from Buckingham House. The queen has received your gesture. Oh. <laughs> um, what did she think of it? <laughs> Go on. She don't like it. She called it a deformed bunny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No ice bath. No chair today. <clears throat> uh, Your Majesty, boy, I command you to stay. Sorry, Doctor. Today I would rather work on my farm. I think the doctor got some weird sick sense out of that. But also, like, he was helping. I don't know about all those baths and shit. But, you know, the voice talk, maybe. Well. No, don't show me his hand. No. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, he's looking. Hear her voice. Come on. Focus on something. Mm. Center. Focus. Charlotte, if you'll just give me a chance. Charlotte, stop walking this instant. <laughs> He's showed her that he was just in his observatory no looking at stars, but he was you being no tortured. To to I marry you and then I disappear into my observatory. Doctor, I feel healthier than I have in years. Mm. This show's just sad. <laughs> in like and not all sad way if we do not resume treatment mm. soon we risk losing everything we have accomplished we what exactly did it do have accomplished nothing anything accomplished for me has been the work of my bride her methods have done more for me than you and your chair ever could your majesty forgets himself mm. grow reckless it's you forget yourself Give free reign to your most but also like urges. Excuse me, Doctor. I have a party to attend. You were dismissed. His Majesty King George Again, is he gonna go back in the Queen chair Charlotte. after he realizes and wakes, you know, comes back? But why would she need a doctor? Well, because obviously she is with child. She was not. Sure, but I have. Ah. Congratulations, Your Majesty. A joyous day for England. Uh, all seems scared. So, like, is he lying? Did this this news mess him up? Happens on the day he finds out he's gonna be a father. Are you okay now? For the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, he looks Reynolds. tired. Reynolds, my carriage! Ah, Charlotte, I did not expect you. The Danbury Ball was a trial. Has your highness ever tried cutting English mutton with a dull knife? I beg your pardon. The knives at Buckingham House used to be sharp She enough. didn't have all the info. They were all dull. It happened to be the day the king joined me there. 
I believe we may have to mm, break so that he wouldn't hurt anyone. Morning, Lady Hal. Yes, ma'am. So he wouldn't hurt himself. Yeah. Odd. What I could not quite convince myself was a coincidence. Smart. Though, was when the library set of Shakespeare was suddenly missing King Lear. Forgive me, I am not a Shakespeare enthusiast. The one about the mad king, because the king is mad it's and crazy. Live in a mad house. Mm -hmm. You forget yourself, Charlotte. All this time I thought I was the damaged one. The king is merely exhausted That's from holding the greatest nation in the world on his shoulders. I don't know about all that. Do you know about that? The weight of that on a boy. The weight on his mother. You're not, she's not wrong, she but I also don't know. If mm, I know. I know. You ever know. Do bear an heir, then you may start to learn, and your first lesson will be this. You would do anything to stop the cracking. You would engage hideous <laughs> doctors and a thousand disgusting treatments. Now you sit at the helm of the world. What matter if your husband has a peculiarity? <laughs> to sit at the helm of the world. I did not even ask for a husband. But if I must have one, if I must leave my home, my family, my language, my life, it cannot be for a man I do not know. A man I was not allowed to know. For a lie! Your insolence truly knows no bounds. You are unhappy with your situation. Now he feels he's unworthy even more. She's just, she's upset that she wasn't told. We're gonna continue treatments now. Your Majesty. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> this doctor's like, yes. I I understand that Charlotte's upset. I, I get it. Fuck yeah. She has every right to be upset. A hundred percent. But like now we get a fuller picture of what the king has been going through. And again, I said it before. A hindsight is so powerful. So are our minds. <laughs> you know, like... I'm just saving this video real quick. Sorry, guys. And now he's gonna think he's unworthy. He doesn't want to be. The way he talks about her and looks at her. The, the, the actor, Corey, I don't know his last name, but Corey, the one who plays young George, King George. He's so... His face is very... Like, he and, you know, the king and queen are very expressive, the actors. And when he's saying... How is it when they're talking about a mom and watching her son crack? That doctor, something was weird about that doctor, man. Like a part of me, it's like, yeah, yeah. But the other part of me, I'm like, sketch. You know, I have two more episodes to go. To go. Episodes five and six. This episode is an hour and 16 minutes, and I don't know how long the next episode is after this one. Honestly, guys, it was, it was, it's, it was a mostly flashback episode in, you know, going through the timeline of the previous and occurrences, but like from his POV, it was awful. He didn't he wanted to be worthy of her. Alright, I'm gonna go use the restroom and then I'm gonna watch the next episode. So I'll see you soon.